Unlock the secrets to growing the perfect first early or determinate potatoes right in your own backyard. Transform a simple 30 litre container into a thriving garden oasis, even with limited space. In this fast paced, easy to follow guide, we'll explore the top potato varieties, planting tips and essential care to ensure they are success. Get ready to harvest delicious homegrown potatoes with a step-by-step -step potato container growing guide. Selecting the right variety of first early or determinate potatoes is crucial for successful container gardening. These types of potatoes have a shorter growing season, making them perfect for containers. Here are some of the top picks, each with their own unique characteristics. Aaron Pilot, a classic favorite. Aaron Pilot boasts a creamy white flesh and fantastic flavor. It's perfect for boiling or using in salads, and it's known for its resistance to common scab. Rocket, as its name suggests, Rocket is a fast growing variety with a reputation for high yields. These potatoes have a delicious taste, firm texture, and are great for boiling or steaming. Swift, if you're looking for a potato that's easy to grow and produces an early crop, Swift is the one with a soft, moist texture this is a versatile choice for boiling mashing or even roasting red duke of york this eye-catching red skinned variety brings a pop of color to your plate with its creamy yellow flesh and rich buttery flavor it's perfect for roasting baking or even making wedges dark red noland a popular choice in the usa dark red noland features deep red skin white flesh and a slightly dry texture making it great for boiling frying or baking yukon gold another favorite in the us yukon gold is renowned for its smooth golden skin and buttery yellow flesh with a moist texture and a rich flavor it's a versatile choice for boiling mashing or roasting Remember, when choosing a variety, consider your local climate and growing conditions, as well as your culinary preferences. With these top varieties in mind, you'll be one step closer to a bountiful harvest of delicious homegrown potatoes. Now that we have our potato variety sorted, it's time to prepare for planting. A crucial aspect of growing healthy potatoes is using the right soil mix. This year, we're using a blend of 60% homemade compost and 40% coconut coir. This mix provides a well-draining, nutrient-rich environment that encourages strong root development and overall plant health. Last year, we experimented with bagged, peat-free compost, but unfortunately, our potato plants didn't thrive as we had hoped. This prompted me to rethink our soil mix and opt for a more sustainable and effective solution. Homemade compost is an excellent choice because it's packed with nutrients nutrients and organic matter, which improves soil structure, moisture, retention, and fertility. Plus, it's an eco-friendly way to recycle your kitchen and garden waste. Coconut coir, on the other hand, is a fantastic peat-free alternative that offers excellent water holding capacity and aeration. It's made from the fibrous husks of the coconuts, making it a sustainable and renewable resource. By combining these two components, we've created the ideal growing medium for our container-grown potatoes. With our soil mix ready, we're all set for planting our first early or determinate potatoes and ensuring a successful harvest this year. As for the best container size, I chose 30 litres as an ideal size because it provides an adequate growing medium for healthy growth while keeping material costs low. I have tested many different sizes, but 30 litres provides the best results for the materials used. These containers are sourced from Oakland Gardens and recently introduced a new design featuring additional drainage holes. Good drainage is crucial for preventing waterlogged soil and promoting healthy root growth. To begin planting, fill your 30 litre container to one third of its depth with the prepared soil mix and blend in some feed. We'll discuss more about feed in a little while. Today, I am sowing Aaron Pilot seed potatoes. Notice how strong the shoots or chits are. This is because there's a benefit for chitting first and second early or determinate seed potatoes. It provides a good start for the tubers while the ground temperatures are still relatively cold. Place two seed potatoes in line with the handles of the container and then cover them with the soil mix until the container is just under two thirds full. Add a little more feed and position two more seed potatoes at right angles to the first two. Growing first early or determinate potatoes in containers allows us to plant four 
potatoes instead of just two as these varieties grow on a single layer this technique maximizes yield and makes efficient use of the resources and the space by growing on multiple levels once your container is filled to about an inch below the rim of the container incorporate more feed into the top layer there's no need to hill these potatoes gradually like you would do with the traditional trench methods because we can fill the container all at once, making it a simpler one-time job. After filling the container, add a layer of mulch, such as rapeseed straw, which is what we're using here, or any form of straw or grass. Mulching prevents evaporation, retains moisture, and provides insulation for the soil layers, keeping the potatoes warm in cool weather and cool in warm weather for a consistent growth. Oakland Gardens is currently offering a deal on these 30 litre containers. You can get 10 containers for £33 delivered using the code SIMPLIFY33. Check the link in the description below to take advantage of this offer. Many people have asked what the best food is for growing potatoes and for our container grown first early or determinate potatoes we're using a combination of blood fish and bone meal and a balanced pelleted potato feed. The blood fish and bone meal is a slow released balanced fertilizer that provides essential nutrients over time. If you can't find this product where you live you can purchase blood meal, bone meal and fish meal and then mix them in equal parts. The balanced pelleted potato feed can be purchased using using the link in the description below. If you can't find this product, just look for a potato feed that is based on equal parts of nitrogen and phosphorus with 1.5 to two times the amount of potassium or potash. Nitrogen and phosphorus are crucial for good formation of the homes and the foliage, while potassium or potash is essential for tuber formation. By finding a feed with these balances, you can ensure that your container grown potatoes have the nutrients that they need for healthy growth and a bountiful harvest. We will incorporate the initial feed into the soil mix during planting and it will last for the first six to eight weeks. After this time, we can give a surface dusting of more of the feed or even use a comfrey or liquid seaweed to continue the growth. After planting your determinate potatoes in their containers, it's crucial to consider the best growing conditions for them. Container grown potatoes are particularly susceptible to high winds providing proper support for the homes is essential. One solution we found effective is to build a sturdy timber frame support for the plants. Many of our viewers have adopted this method and it has proven successful. However, for those that don't have access to timber, cow wire is also a viable option. The frame is not only supportive, but also allows you to cover the plants with fleece in case of a late frost. This protection can help ensure the best possible harvest. Another consideration is the possibility of frost damage, by keeping your containers in a greenhouse or polytunnel until the last frosts have passed, you can protect your plants and give them the best chance for success. Once the threat of the frost has passed, you can easily move those containers out to their final growing area. Finally, it's worth noting that the frame also supports any watering systems that you may want to implement. Potatoes are thirsty plants and it's essential to keep them well watered for healthy growth. One of the great benefits of using containers is that they hold moisture in longer, especially with the addition of coir and mulch. However, if you're using a wooden or fabric container, you may find that you need to water more frequently. When watering your container grown determined potatoes it's essential to water them until the water flows out of the drainage holes wait for about 10 minutes and then water them again to ensure that the containers are fully moistened all the way through it's best not to let the compost dry out as it becomes hydrophobic meaning it won't absorb water by watering in this way you can prevent this from happening to determine when to water next use a finger test simply push your index finger up to its last knuckle in the soil and then pull it out if it feels moist or any compost sticks to your finger there is no need to water however if it comes out dry with nothing on the finger then you'll need to water again. 
Potatoes require between one and two inches of water per week, but during the hot summer months, they may need more. Last year, we had a particularly hot summer and I typically used about four liters of water every three or four days per container. By providing your container grown potatoes with adequate water, you can ensure a healthy growth and a bountiful harvest. One top tip for healthy and productive container grown potatoes is to remove the flowers when they start to appear. While it may seem counterintuitive to remove the flowers, it's actually a pro takeaway that can be significantly increase the yield of the harvest. When a determinate or first early potato plant starts to flower, it uses lots of energy to produce the flowers and then eventually turn them into seed. This energy is not beneficial to the gardener as it takes away from the energy that the plant could be putting into tuber formation. By removing the flowers from your container grown potatoes, you can redirect that energy towards tuber formation and resulting in larger and more plentiful potatoes. It's a simple yet effective technique that can make a significant difference in the quality and quantity of your harvest. So the next time that you see container grown potato plants start to flower, remember this top tip and remove the flowers to redirect their energy towards tuber formation. It's a small but yet a powerful step towards a bountiful and successful harvest. Harvesting your container grown determinate potatoes is a rewarding experience and by following these guidelines you can ensure the best possible harvest whether you're looking for fresh small potatoes or larger and more mature ones knowing when and how to harvest them is an essential step towards a successful and enjoyable container gardening experience. Once you've harvested your container grown determinate or first early potatoes, it's time to store them properly for later use. Here's some tips for storing your potatoes to keep them fresh and flavorful. Cure the potatoes. After harvesting, allow the potatoes to cure in a cool and bright place for a few hours. This will allow the skins to harden and any minor cuts or bruises to heal. Curing also helps to increase the shelf life of your potatoes. Sort and clean. Once cured, sort through your potatoes and remove any that are damaged or diseased. Then gently brush off any excess soil but don't wash them. Washing potatoes can remove the protective layer on the skins which can make them more susceptible to spoiling. Store your potatoes in a cool dark and dry place to prevent sprouting and spoilage. The ideal temperature for storing potatoes between 45 and 50 Fahrenheit or 7 to 10 degrees Celsius. Avoid storing potatoes in direct sunlight or in damp areas as this can cause them to sprout or rot. Avoid storing with fruits. Fruits give off ethylene gas which can cause potatoes to sprout prematurely so it's best to avoid storing potatoes with fruits. Now you know how to grow first early or determinate potatoes in containers and get fantastic results with the right variety selection, soil mix, planting techniques, watering schedule and harvesting and storage practices you can enjoy a bountiful harvest of delicious homegrown potatoes right in your own backyard. If you're hungry for more tips on growing potatoes in containers be sure to check out this video for even more pro takeaways and expert advice. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplify Gardening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.